Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this video is going to be how to get um, a customized um, wallpaper, so whatever wallpaper you want on your theme. So as you can see, uh, most of you are probably familiar with this theme. It's one of the uh, top rated, and I customized my wallpaper, but I'm going to change it again because I'm kind of getting sick of this wallpaper. So there are three things you need for this, or two. Um, you need how to SSH into your iPod, you need, well, also you need Winterboard, but most of you should have that. Uh, if your iPod's themed, you have that already, so that's not important. And you're going to need where to get the themes. So where I get my themes will be in the description, uh, so go click that link. Anyway, let me just exit out of this iTunes uh, space. So what you're going to want to do is go over, and yes, you can see the camera right there. Whoa, look, there's me. Um, so what you want to want to do is go to... Safari or your preferred web browser, go to interfacelift.com, again, link in the description. Um, and then you just want to pick any of these themes. Uh, this one is kind of cool, you know, but there's there's a million, so, or not themes, more wallpapers. So as you can see, there's a ton of pages down here. Uh, you can select any of them. Anyway, uh, so then when you find the one you want, um, you want to go to Select Resolution. And go down until you see 320 by 480 iPhone. Uh, select that and then select Download. What you're going to get is a web page that looks like that. that. What you're going to want to do is right click that and uh, do save image as. Then you want to change that to wallpaper. Spelled exactly as I'm about to spell it. With the caps. Um, also, you're going to want to make sure that you save it. Uh, you want to not hide the extension and you want this to be a um, PNG file. So you want to change it to PNG. So I'm actually going to not save this. Normally you would just click save, but I'm not going to save this because I already have one. So let me just go into an open space here. This is the wallpaper I want to use. It's wallpaper.png. As you can see, if I right click it and click get more info, on a Windows all you would be doing is going to properties. It is a portable network graphics image, which is a PNG file. So now what you're going to want to do is SSH into your iPod Touch. Make sure, S make sure SSHing is on and go into your client. I use CyberDuck on Mac. Personally, it's my favorite. And then you're going to want to go to the very root. Uh, go into library. And scroll down until you see themes. So then what you're going to want to do is make a new uh, folder on your desktop. New folder. Uh, you can call it, I guess, just call it um, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to call it um, Customize Wallpaper. But it really doesn't matter what you call it. And then what you're going to want to do is drag the wallpaper.png into your folder. After that, drag the folder into themes. As you can see, it's going there. And upload complete. So once you're done with that, you want to exit out of the SSHing process. So I'm going to close CyberDuck. Then go into your iPod and open up um, Winterboard. Mine's in a category. Oh, whoops, I opened Safari. Mine's in a miscellaneous category. So I'm just opening my categories. Winterboard. And right here you see customized wallpaper or whatever you called it. Make sure to check that. And then press home. And it'll respring. 
It'll probably make that it'll make that sound if it's connected to the computer, which mine is. And it'll take a sec to respring. Let's just wait for that. And as you can see, I'm just gonna slide to unlock. And there you go. There's my customized wallpaper. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe for more iPod tutorials and more tech videos in general. If you want to, if you want uh, exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. And thanks for watching.